Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker game for the T-14, the Tier 5 Premium American Heavy Tank. And um, I've heard a lot of bad things about this tank, but this is only my second ever game in the tank. In, in my first game, the game prior to this one, I started playing the tank for the first time. I ended up defending a flank by myself because my entire team lemming trained down the other flank. Um, thankfully we won the match, but being on one flank by myself against about five enemy tanks, I um, unfortunately died before the end of the game. However, I did take a couple of them down with me, and uh, the thing to note in that game was that I took well over 5,000 potential damage. The armor on this thing is a heck of a lot better than I was expecting, but uh, because it was a close quarter game and I didn't really have a chance to show off the tank to um, the best of its abilities other than the armor, I decided to play it a second time. And uh, here we go. I end up on uh, Kamarin, and uh, it is a fairly favorable matchup. We are uh, tier 5 in a tier 5 game. And uh, we're just going to play. To now I'm quite surprised that uh, the uh, at the maneuverability and speed of this tank. Um, for a heavy, this thing moves well. I, I I would almost say it moves even better than the uh, Ram 2 does, and that's a tier five American medium. But uh, as you can see, we are flying into uh, the island in the middle of uh, Kamarin and uh, we are in the front and it is just I was really surprised the tank is fast it's maneuverable it's got great armor and the only thing left to really really test is the gun so um, I set up here as you can see I'm angled I'm uh, Here we go. Penetration. So, uh, Matilda. Penetration. We're immobilized. All he can do is Enemy track me. But uh, we'll just see how well I'm angled here. So I'm using the uh, cover here. They just have the front of my tank to shoot at. And uh, I am still able to put effective shots into them. So uh, we're going to continue. I've been, as I say, being Let's tracked, go. but uh, I let the tracks repair themselves and I go back to work. So I don't really have anything on the head, sir. We put a shot in and the head, sir, retreats, but KV-1 appears and retreats so I blow away his cover and again I'm not exposing too much of my tank I'm using the uh, hill to uh, cover and uh, keep sloped Hetzer comes back we fail to penetrate so the uh, penetration on this gun is uh, only 92 and uh, that really isn't good enough to go through uh, a KV-1. Um, so I do use quite a lot of premium. The premium penetration is only 127, so still not great, but uh, better than the uh, basic ammo. So uh, we're going to continue. Trying to get a shot in the lower glacis, and uh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, Hetzer fired some HE at me, and uh, it took out my driver. So I've take, taken two damaging shots, both HE. Penetration. But we have to aim at weak points. So medium 3 appears. Unfortunately, I'm Got still on. using premium ammo. So that was kind of a waste. Got a hint of a shot at a Martyr 2, but nope, he's gone. So let's go back to work on the KV-1. Penetration. Enemy armor is damaged. Critical hit. So unfortunately, my team are pushing me forward. And yes, that was a shot from behind by my own KV-1. 
Oh, he's not done with me yet. So, not content with putting one shot into me from behind. I chase down the KV-1. There he goes. Okay, so remember KV-1 is behind me. There he goes again. He's just put a second shot into me. I don't know whether he's doing this on purpose or whether he's just a really, really bad player. But we are up to five kills. So I switch back to normal ammo. Bounce on the M4. So of all the damage, I've only taken four damaging shots so far in this game. And uh, it's all been from that friendly KV-1. He's hit me for 178 damage, he hit me for 166 damage. Otherwise, I've only taken 80 damage from uh, enemy tanks. So, uh, KV-1 makes a mistake and tries to cross the river the wrong way. M4 sitting in the open. And we manage to finish him off for Top Gun. KV-1 is dead, but, um, I decide to put it... Well, I was going to put a shot into him anyway. Just to increase his repair bill. So we are capping. Two enemy tanks left. I'm not really going to get any shots on these guys. And uh, that's the end of the game. Well, we uh, ended up getting a Master Tanker in our second ever game in the T-14. Um, we also managed to get uh, Top Gun and Sniper with a uh, gun that is not supposed to be very accurate. Uh, we earned a really, really healthy... Uh, <laughs> 1,000 and 3,000 credits and 1,800 XP. Um, not doubled, that is just base XP. And uh, we'll take a look at the team score. And uh, we uh, finished well in front on XP. Nearly, uh, th well, yeah, about 300 XP more than the next player. And uh, damage-wise, we finished not far short of 2,000 damage with 6 kills. Um, so, very, very productive game with the T-14. Uh, we'll take a look at the detailed report. And again, unfortunately, I don't know whether that's uh, straight credits or whether there was a special on. I don't know. I can't remember. But... Um, yeah, we have finished up with 100,000 credits and um, unfortunately, as we had to fire quite a lot of premium in that game, um, we ended up only making a profit of 40, well, close to 48,000. So we fired 29 shots, 25 were hits and 22 were penetrations. Uh, as I say, almost 900 damage. We received 7 hits, only 3 of which were penetrations. And uh, potential damage received was just over uh, 1,000, close to 1,100 damage. So we didn't really get to show off the amazing armor of the T-14. But uh, as I said in the first game I played with it, it, it was a beast. It really was a beast. It took uh, close to uh, four or 5,000 uh, potential damage. Uh, we detected two enemies, damaged eight, destroyed six, and didn't do a lot of detecting damage. But uh, overall, it was a pretty good game. And uh, we received 1,812 base XP, no double, on a uh, premium account. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you next time.